Uh, I can tell by the smile on your face, you 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 are pleased. But what are your thoughts on the on the game today? Uh, absolutely satisfied with the result. I think with such a great reward with Manu in the next round, we're really buzzing to um to come away with the result we wanted. But I think there's a bit of like there was nerves at the start, and there's a I think a few of the lads are a bit disappointed that we have that last few minutes that we haven't absolutely smothered them. To be honest, like we should have and put the game to bed loads earlier. But I mean, sat side of the win, I think it's the process that's important and we've got to, we've just got to see those sort of games out more control. Uh, both yourself and Tom have mentioned that there was sort of nerves going into the game. Was was the nerves sort of doubled by the fact that you had Man United or the potential of playing Man United in the next round as well as playing on Sinsel Bank or was it just just I suppose yeah, what, what was your... Yeah, I mean, the result's always in the back of your head, so it's you, everyone's dying in there to get through to Man United and be able to get the opportunity to play against Man United. I think the fact that quite a lot of the lads that play today hadn't experienced since point before is quite a big thing. It takes them getting used to the size of the pitch. We're not used to playing on such a big pitch. But um, overall, I think the first 10 minutes was probably nerves, and then the lads just played through it. They set their standards too high to let those get to them, so they broke through it and did well. Please, we go. Yeah, buzzing. Don't get too many of them, so yeah, I was happy with that, even though it was too hot. Um, it come from a set piece. It was an excellent ball in, but it was a it was a good good move as well to find yourself free inside the six yard box. Is that something? Obviously, Tom's mentioned that it's something you work hard on it. But do you see yourself as, as priding yourselves as uh, getting an opportunity to score a goal from set pieces? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the coaches spend so much time looking into the set pieces and uh, making sure that they're all prepared so that for the next match, they're specific to each team that we play to pick out their weaknesses. And it's just nice to be on the end of one for once. <laughs> um, at half time, uh, we obviously touched upon it with Tom there that that opening 20 minutes, Tom saw some of the best foot. He thought he saw some of the best football. Uh, we certainly thought we saw some of the best football of, of the game from you guys. What what do you think was taken from the half-time team talk to be able to go out and play like that in the second half? I think uh, the main message was just like stay calm, stay composed, controlled, all the things that uh, the emotions that we needed to have to see the game out. I think going in one nil at half-time really helps because it also settles the nerves a bit. But to just be able to like relax, don't put any extra pressure that we need on ourselves. Just know that if we keep playing and sticking to method, then we'll get the result that we wanted. And finally, we we'll touched upon it slightly already, but Manchester United in the next round, how excited are you to face, like Tom's mentioned, some of the best and most exciting youngsters in Europe? Yeah, it's crazy. Like Some of their players will be, well, the best in our age group. So to get the chance to play against them, to learn from them and uh, just the opportunity to be able to hopefully get a result. I think if we stick to the process and do it properly and we'll get a, res we'll get a result that we want out of it.